bathroom vlog. Yes, I am sitting in my tub. Moggy, I don't feel bad about Derpy at all because she's not stupid just because she's wall-eyed. Um, there's actually a lot of cartoons out there about how she got her cutie mark, but they're all basically the same, and the most well-known and accepted one is this one. Okay, girls, now remember to put on Hey, look, it's that rainbow girl. She's trying to do something rainbowish. Boom. I have a gosh darn time machine. How can I be late again? You know what? Stay like that forever. I don't care anymore. So she's wall-eyed and a little weird because of an accident, so... <laughs> There's actually a lot of movies that I'm looking forward to in 2012. I could list off a whole bunch of them because there's going to be quite a few that I'd like to see, some that are out right now, some that aren't yet. Like uh, Snow White and the Huntsman, um, Hunger Games, of course, uh, The Hobbit, there's going to be another Bourne movie with a different actor, there's going to be Les Miserables. There's just, there's a lot of movies that are coming out. But I think the one that I am looking the most forward to is Skyfall. In my opinion, Daniel Craig is the best Bond. It actually kind of drove me crazy when Sean Connery was James Bond, because he's a great actor and everything, but he's got a Scottish accent. Actually, interesting point about Sean Connery's accent is he actually normally had a normal Scottish accent, but they wanted to make it more interesting, so they actually trained him to talk the way that he talks. Learned that in theater. Steph, I think I've heard of Homestuck, but I don't think I've ever looked at it before. So, you said something about karaoke, that, that gave me an idea. We should all sing a karaoke song. Sophie, I love pistachios! That's like the one nut that I will eat. I like walnuts baked into things, but pistachios is the only nut that I will eat that's not in something else, if that makes sense. Did you take any footage while you were hanging out with Rosie and those guys, or did Rosie take any footage? I want to see this footage! I don't know about Moggy and Steph, but I finished out and went to see the footage. Rosie. Tanya, I get sick easily too. Actually, when I flew out to North Carolina, I got plane sick, but then I got real sick. Like, I had a temperature, and I was throwing up, and it was just, it was not fun. And you were asking about a fake fangirl. I think I was confusing people. When I say fake fangirl, I'm talking about the people who like something, like something, because it's popular and not because they actually like it. Like, they, they want to look like they are into something because it makes them popular too, because it's something that everyone likes, if that makes any sense. Digimon, digital monsters, Digimon, all the champions change into digital champions to save the digital world. <laughs> So I've been watching Doctor Who all week. I think I was talking to Moggy on Skype about it, but I was like going crazy. I was talking to her about my David Tennant vortex that I fell into on YouTube for like four hours. I just kept watching every video I could find of him because he's one of my favorite actors ever and therefore he's my favorite doctor ever. And it's probably going to stay that way. I also had several Doctor Who breakdowns. I'm pretty sure Moggy's already pe way past me, so I'm gonna... But at the end of season two, when um, he and Rose have to say goodbye to each other. Oh my gosh, you guys, I cried. I, like, it, it literally depressed me. And just listening to that song for the end, that my favorite song ever, um, Doomsday, just listening to that makes me want to cry. Like, I am so empathetic that when things happen in even shows and stuff, I just get emotionally distraught. So I was so depressed that I had to go find things to make me happy before I went to bed. And then I started watching season three, and it's, like, turning out to be a super depressing season. Like, Every episode, there's something for him to be upset about, and I'm like, no, I want to give you a hug. Oh, it's horrible, but also wonderful. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have several Doctor Who breakdowns this season. I've already had a couple. I can't, I can't wait to get to season, even though I already know what happens on the beach, that scene I saw on YouTube, the second beach scene. So I already know what's going to happen, but at least it's somewhat happy. I just want to get there. <laughs> Speaking of Doctor Who, I've already asked you guys on Skype, and I know Tanya already did, but you should vote on my design and tell all of your friends to vote on my design and give it like a 4 or 5 because there's not that many Doctor Who fans and so they don't understand it and so they give it a low rating so it doesn't get printed. That's why there's only like two Doctor Who shirts on Threadless.
We are going to change that. See? Right there. Right there. Design of Awesomeness. Needs your vote. Go vote. I'll put a link in the description. Yay! I'm also working on um, a musical arrangement of Doomsday. I would, if I could write music really well, I would write music for movies and shows. Because that would be awesome. Also, I already posted them on Skype, but I don't know how many of you guys saw it, so... Here's the ponies that I made. Pictures of you. I'd really like to make, like, intros or a video. Uh, about it. Rozzy and I were talking about making a video when we hit 100 subscribers of the ponies with our voices, you know, thanking the subscribers and stuff. I thought it would be cute and fun. Valentine's Day is coming. So it's my birthday. I am going to be 24 years old on February 23rd. And my best friend Danielle is going to be 23 years old on February 24th. 